hello guys and welcome back to another clash royale video so today i will be doing a little bit different video so here i am using my max 2.6 hog account and i'm in mid ladder as i didn't push this season that much so i'm in challenge 3 right now so i just uh, started pushing today so i'm just trolling the mid ladder players with my max hog account so let's see how it will go so here i will show you the different decks uh, the mad decks which they play in here and i will also troll them with my max account so let's just do it guys so he have a hog uh, prince executioner in hand and uh, i think uh, this is a typical mid ladder deck as we can't expect like they will play this as they can be playing anything uh, and any combination as you can see he have a split army bandit electro that's the reason why we can't predict mid ladder decks so here i'm just trying to have a little bit fun with them so let's see how it will go uh, so here i'm up with damage and he is of level 13 player so he have all max card but his king tower is of level 13 so that will be an advantage i'm using my cannon for his hog and uh, i want to push with my hog on the right but uh, i will wait for elixir to fill as that can be dangerous as we all know that mid ladder players always used to spam all their uh, troops at the bridge they are very much expert on that so here you can see that he just used his mini pekka and also his prince just to take out my hog so you can see that he invested nine elixir and he get like nothing out of it as he, his prince didn't able to reach the my princess tower so here you can see that i'm just using my log but bandit will dash first so i will use another musky and here i will just try to surround his uh, wizard as i don't want his wizard to hit my musky so here i'm pushing with my hog and musky so he used his uh, skeleton army and electro which will deny all the damage from hog so here i'm using my cannon i think cannon is in the range of electro so i will push him a little bit far so that he can't target the cannon so let's see so i was about to push with my hog but he just dropped his prince so i will use my musky uh to just deal with his prince so he is doing a double lane push from the left side also so he used bandit on that side so here i will put down my cannon uh, for prince uh, and uh, i think cannon was not needed but still we can defend here so he is coming up with his mini pekka so I will just uh, defend my musky and I will use my hog uh, now to protect musky. So here I think he will do a push with his hog. So I will just put my cannon preemptively. So here, yeah. So he just uh, push with hog and wizard. So mid ladder moves are quite predictable. And uh, here you can see that we have got a lot of damage lead here. So let's see how it will go. So his mini pekka just killed my musky, so which was not good for us. So here I will just miss the log on top of Prince. <laughs> here you can see that. So that was a very bad log on my part. So I will just uh, use my hog and I will put cannon like this. And I will also send a prediction log for his skeleton army. And uh, as you can see, he just used his skeleton army. So here I will not allow his executioner to hit my musky, and I will also protect him. Uh, sorry, protect her from mini pekka. Sorry. So I just changed the gender of musketeer just now. So here I will just uh, finish the game with hog, and you can see that it was quite easy for us to win. Uh, so mid ladder decks are like this, and you can see that they don't have any sense of making deck. And I am like I'm not being rude here, but uh, to cross mid ladder we must play uh, sensibly, and we have to be aware of uh, what kind of cards are coming against us. And using 2.6 in mid ladder is quite easy, and uh, we can just uh, get a ton of uh, elixir value, and we can just defend with small cards. So here I'm um, on to next match, and here you can see that he just used his. Uh, goblin cage and he also nado hog to activate his king tower so this was a good play by him so i think uh, he must be playing a graveyard deck or it can be electro giant and in mid ladder i think it can be electro giant 
as uh, graveyard deck is very rare in mid ladder so let's just see guys what he will do so he have uh, inferno drag so it's definitely going to be electro giant deck so here our uh, electro spirit will get a connection to the tower and here you can see that our musky is still alive so he have to respond to it so here you can see he used his uh, dark prince so that's a positive elixir for us so here i will kite his dark prince with his skellies and then i will use my ice golem i know i could have uh, done it only with my ice golem but it's okay so now i will just wait and see so here he just splitted his skeleton uh, so now i will fireball his uh, bomber and then i will try to push with hog but he just dropped his uh, inferno drag uh, so i will log on the weak side tower and then i will use my skellies to distract his inferno drag so here he goes with his uh, electro giant so electro giant is quite popular after the buff as you can say that uh, it's kind of a buff uh, it was eight elixir card but now it's seven elixir so here you can see that i will be patient and i will wait for his uh, push to be unfold so you can see that he just uh, used his dark prince and i will just wait and i will kite his dark prince because dark prince can be annoying uh, if it connects if it get a connection to the tower so we have to avoid that so here i will just uh, kite his dark prince and now i will just log his uh, brawler and then i will kite it with ice golem uh, so here you can see that he is coming up with his another push of electro giant so i will just put down my cannon first and then i will just wait uh, for his push so here you can see that I will log his Electro Giant, uh, Dark Prince and the Princess Tower which is a great value for us. So here I will just uh, put down the musky but it will get lightning by the opponent. So here I will kite Inferno Drag and Dark Prince and his uh, Electro Giant will get melted by our cannon. So here he used his Tornado for our Hog. So do do comment down below guys what you guys think uh, of this deck like uh, is it a hard counter for you are you struggling against electro giant or not just uh, comment down below and let me know if you are struggling against electro giant deck as electro giant deck can be annoying in uh, top ladder as the top ladder players are quite good with this deck so here he just missed his nado on the top of a musky so here i will just uh, kite his brawler and uh, inferno drag so that it can't get any hit but uh, the brawler get one shot on top of our tower so here i will just uh, use my cannon and he is coming up with his push of dark prince his dark prince is barely alive so let's see so i will just log electro giant as he just uh, lightning our cannon so i think our hog will get some damage here but our hog will move towards uh, brawler cage so let's see our hog will get some damage or not but our musky look at the musky guys musky has just been locked towards the tower his princess tower weak side tower so here uh, i will just fireball a log and i just need one more fireball to finish it so here i think he quit the match so i will try one thing i will just uh, try to take out both tower at the same time so let's see if we can do it or not so I will fireball now so I think uh, oh it was so close guys so it was fun game and uh, due to musky we got this victory so I will just give him a thumbs up emote I hope you guys are enjoying the video so hit the like button if you are enjoying so now I will just move on to next match and uh, uh, I hope this is a kind of video you guys want to see so here i'm just trolling them so no offense guys I, i'm just having fun with them so here i'm searching for next match and here i'm i got our next match i'm against oscar mc so i'm just starting with skeleton from the back and uh, let's see what he is playing so he just used his uh, goblin gang from the bridge so let's see here i leaked a little bit of elixir so here he just dropped his knight and i think uh, this is a log bed deck but let's see what he is playing uh, cause okay he have pekka so this is definitely not a log bit deck so uh, my prediction was wrong so sorry for that guys so here i will just uh, send my hog on the opposite side 
so that our hawk can get some damage on the top of his tower but he used his electro but despite of that our hawk got two shots so i will just try to distract his electro and pekka at the same time so he just dropped his uh, witch at the bridge so that was a very weird play by him so let's see so uh, i have to defend this push from the bridge by our opponent so i will just log his witch towards my cannon and then i will just uh, use my electro spirit for his remaining goblin gang so here you can see that this is a very weird deck so this is it guys this is mid ladder so here i will just uh, wait for his uh, play so he just dropped his uh, knight and i will use my musky and what the like he just dropped his pekka behind his knight and this was just going to melt so easily and he just have given me such a huge value so here i will just send my hog on the opposite side so that he have to defend on that side also so that he will not be able to defend on this side so here he is not doing anything and i think guys he just rage quit the game uh, i don't know why he just played pekka behind uh, his knight so i didn't get any logic on that so let's see guys if he quit or not so i will just send my hog on the left side and uh, let's see so i'm just trying to cycle back to another hog and here you can see that he just quit the match and that's it guys i will just give him well played and uh, here i'm just spamming all my cards uh, towards his king king tower and all his princess tower so what you guys do in this situation just comment down below whether you wait for your opponent or not so i am being a dirty player here i just spam all my cards on top of his tower so that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button if you like the video and do subscribe to the channel and now i will move on to the shout outs and the best comments are by these people so a huge shout out to abc123 and mr devil yt and swagatam guha so these are the best comments which i feel in my way but uh, i love all your comments and i read all the comments given by you guys so just continue to support me like this and a huge shout out to these three guys once again i will just repeat their name uh, a huge shout out to abc123 uh, mr devil yt and swagatam guha so these are the best comments which i find and a huge shout out to all of you guys once again thanks a lot guys and see you in the next video bye bye and take care